A Couch for Llama by Leah Gilbert. The Lago family's couch was very well loved. It was the perfect spot for snuggling and reading, card playing, fort building, and hiding and seeking. They had many good times together. Maybe a few too many good times. Wee! Oops. Hey! One day, they realized it was time for a new couch. So they piled into the family car and off they went to find one. One that was not too big or too small, but just right. The Lago family found the perfect couch. But on the way home, something went wrong. Whoosh. Llama found a couch. Sniff, 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 sniffy, sniff, sniff. Llama brayed hello to the couch, but the couch didn't say anything. Llama tried to share his lunch, but the couch didn't seem to have much of an appetite. So Llama ate the couch instead. It tasted worse than a dry, dusty tumbleweed. The couch was useless. Take it away! But it just wouldn't budge. The Lago family noticed something was missing. Oh no, where's the couch? Meanwhile, Llama decided to just ignore the couch and pretend it wasn't there. This got very, very boring. So Llama snuck up and pounced and bouncy, bouncy, bounced, whirled and twirled, bumped and jumped. and fell down into the smushy, mushy, fluffy, puffy cushions. He actually finally completely loved the couch. The Lago family found their couch and also a llama. Specifically, a stubborn, couch-loving kind of llama. They had a great idea. Don't worry, llama, we'll be back. What a surprise, a couch just for llama. At the end of the day, the Lago family was happy with their new couch. But Lama was the happiest of all.